So hey guys, life after childbirth, your life just becomes very unpredictable. There's a lot that goes on within you and outside of you. So if you do choose to breastfeed your baby, uh, they don't tell you how difficult this process is. <laughs> this journey looks so beautiful. It looks so glam on the internet. I'm tired. Whatever routine you think you had before you had a baby, <laughs> You might want to flush that down the toilet. <laughs> so, hey guys. <laughs> Do you want to say hey guys? Welcome back to our channel. So today we have a special guest because this video is going to be inspired by her. And in this video, we're going to be talking all about life after childbirth. In case you guys do not know, this is my little princess. Her name is Kayla and she is a little bit over six weeks old. So yeah, um, in this video, we're going to be talking all things related to physical recovery, to breastfeeding, mental health, emotional health self-care baby care as well as balancing you know work life as well as motherhood this video is feeding off of my birth vlog and story time in case you guys haven't seen that i'll leave it over here so you guys can check it out as well and we're just going to be diving deep into the whole like realities and life after childbirth i've written down some of the things some of the key points i wanted to discuss in this video and she wasn't supposed to be here because she's supposed to be sleeping so this is kind of the realities of it your life just becomes very unpredictable so it's either you let it overwhelm you or you kind of take control of it so in this case we are taking control of the situation where do we begin so the most asked question on my birth story time um vlog was with regards to the app that i was using to monitor and time my contraction and i use the contractions app i'll leave it over here so you guys can check it out i also leave it down in the description box so you guys can also check it out and download it if you are interested okay so baby girl is sleeping now first of all let's talk all about physical recovery i can't i can't really explain what you go through but just know that there is going to be a lot of pain a lot of soreness <laughs> a lot of bleeding a lot of sleepless nights a lot of discomfort so depending on what your birthing experience is like if you did go for natural delivery you might get a tear and if you do um the typical recovery time for that might be somewhere between one week to about let's say two three weeks right however if you did a cs it could range from about you know three weeks to about three months so depending on your circumstance and it took me about two weeks to get recovered and then another one week to feel like myself so now this is i'm currently six weeks postpartum i know i'm actually seven weeks postpartum to be honest with you i feel like i keep forgetting the time but i'm seven weeks postpartum the first week is usually the hardest so something you can do during this period is to try as much as possible to get as comfortable as possible so me i did not spend up to four five hours in the hospital because i don't find that to be a comfortable space i wanted to recover in a space that i can control and that i could feel a little bit more flexible um this is my second time doing this i did get a lot of comments in my comment section they were like oh my god you left four hours after giving birth how is that possible and all that well as long as you are in good physical and mental health and you're in a good physical state um usually the hospital will monitor you for a couple of hours to make sure that you're there are no ruptures there's no cause for a medical alarm or emergency so if there are no complications there are no medical histories relating to any complications that may result from childbirth then you might be allowed to go home or if you request so that first week there's going to be a lot of changes going on in your body that it begins to affect your mental health as well as your emotional health as well giving birth is such an underestimated transformational journey that i feel like we kind of overlook and undervalue at the same time because there's a lot that goes on within you 
an outside of you like so if you do choose to breastfeed your baby uh, know that two things your boobs are going to hurt but also your tummy is also going to hurt because as you're breastfeeding it does help the uterus to contract um, faster back to its pre-pregnancy size and with that contractions um it's painful it's like cramp pain i think it's a little bit more intense for some people so it i did feel a bit of cramping every single time i was breastfeeding and i didn't mind it because it meant that like my body was getting back to normal which is something that you want after a drastic and dramatic change as a result of like pregnancy and childbirth um i did get a tear i got a two degree tear and you know it took about a week for it to heal halfway to the point whereby i was comfortable to kind of move around and do my thing but yeah that's something i wanted you guys to know something i did to relieve this was a seeds bath so i did the seeds bath i'll put probably the link to all the things that i use kind of helped soothe that perineal area guys they don't tell you how difficult this process is until you experience it for yourself <laughs> this journey looks so beautiful it looks so glam on the internet it, it gives you you know baby blues and all that but see i feel like the world needs to be educated more on the impact this has on the lives of women and men at the same time and just how real it is right but it's <laughs> oh anytime i think about it i just have like flash of like ptsd or something i don't know it's just like oh my god it's like triggering for me oh yeah something i was doing was to use hot water compress on my tummy and i wrapped my tummy the next day after leaving the hospital i started wrapping i haven't wrapped in a while but i wrapped that also helps in like shrinking as well something else i did was um with my boobs so because i did get a little bit of engorgement i had to use a warm compress first of all and then breastfeed and then go over it while when i was done breastfeeding with a cold compress so that will help soothe it so warm relief by breastfeeding and then after you're done use cold compressed does that make sense so warm it up breastfeed cool it down okay <laughs> if you're someone who is pregnant right now i want to say like get as as much sleep as you possibly can right now because you would you would miss it after you've given birth right the baby wakes up every one hour 30 minutes or so about two hours to feed and you want to do this on a regular basis so that way she or he is getting as much as they need midnights were the worst were the absolute worst because the milk and the food comes from you if you're breastfeeding so the first two weeks of my baby's life i was pumping because i felt like i needed to increase my like supply and i felt like pumping might be easier but let me tell you um since then i haven't pumped in like one month i have been breastfeeding exclusively because it's more convenient for me and it's more efficient and it's more productive because now i don't have to wash bottles and i that's the worst thing to do <laughs> is to wash bottles i do not like washing and sterilizing and packaging the bottle so i just feed my baby on demand whenever she feels like i just breastfeed her and i feel like that has also helped with my milk supply at the same time because i know i struggled the first time i struggled with breastfeeding <laughs> with my first child because i feel like i wasn't producing as much as my baby boy needed but this time around i struggled with meeting up with hard demands the first week but then i took some supplements i think i have it here just i took fenugreek and it's like a it's like a what's it called it comes like in a tablet form um fenugreek and i'll leave it on the screen right so i took that so i took that as well i took a lot of like lactation cookies lactation tea 
And I feel like after 24 hours, it worked, right? My supply doubled, right? Because I was pumping at that time. And I was pumping as well. So I was I was pumping after feeding her our pump at every interval. So that all of that helped with like improving my you know milk supply and these were all recommended by my midwife so she recommended to pump for 15 minutes after every feed after your baby feeds you would pump again for another 15 minutes to help like tell the body that okay it needs more try and produce more so i did that for 24 hours for one day and i feel like after after that 24 hours it literally doubled i also took the fenugreek i took it and it definitely worked as well so that's something you could consider if you are struggling with meeting up with the demands of your baby or improving or increasing your milk supply the only reason i wanted to pump initially was because i wanted to have enough milk supply for my baby later on so that we i would like package it freeze it up and later on in life when i feel like i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired i can bring that out bring out my stash and start with that cycle right but <laughs> The, I think pumping alone has its own psychological effects and I went through that with my first so now I'm trying something different and that's just exclusive breastfeeding for now anyways okay so let's talk about the emotional health nobody tells you this but that first week after you've given birth like the first couple of days the first week to be more precise you become extremely emotional like if i'm not even an emotional person but i felt it right for i would see myself crying like i'll just get emotional and start tearing up for no reason i'll be looking at her and i'll be so emotional and little things definitely might get to you so do bear that in mind <laughs> you might tend to overreact there's so much going on within you there's so much hormones and it's imbalance and all of that so that's something to take note of during that phase now when it comes to self-care and baby care i try to make this as therapeutic as possible so that we I feel like there are benefits that are being passed on to both the baby and me, right? So I feel like after childbirth, for a lot of moms, there are a lot of overwhelming factors that just consumes women. And it's understandable, but it's also important to know that you are your own person. You need to be deliberate about like creating a balance between you and your baby and then you and you. I feel like a lot of people get sucked into this hole of I need to be there 247. Like the baby sleeps most of the time. And while the baby is sleeping, it only makes sense that you get the care and help that you might need. So if you haven't slept all day, it's a perfect time for you to sleep while the baby is sleeping. So something you might want to do is to change up your sleep routine and whatever routine you think or you, you think you had before you had a baby, you might want to flush that down the toilet and create another routine that is in sync with your newborn because they are the ones that will determine your, your new life, <laughs> your new life. So when she wants to eat you have to be awake to feed her so that might be your wake up time right when she wants to sleep perfect time for you to sleep and get some rest when she wants to play perfect time for you to be interactive and to bond with her but try as much as possible to create a synergy synchronize with your newborn so that way you're not left being deprived of sleep of your personal time right so now for me for instance um baby girl is sleeping um i did get enough sleep last night because now she sleeps for about four or five hours at a stretch which is amazing because i can sleep for four or five hours but now that she's sleeping it's a perfect time for me to be productive and to do my thing 
to do what makes me me and I don't want to drown in her world. I want to live in her world. I want to survive and thrive in her world, in our world, because it's our world. But I don't want to drown in it and feel like, you know, she has overwhelmed me. I want us to coexist and work together and partner together and live together, right? I, I feel like my first experience has humbled me. So now that I have another experience, <laughs> I'm learning to just study and learn. And I also kind of learn from other moms at the same time. Take advice if you can. Most importantly, take time for yourself because if you're not healthy, your baby most likely would not be healthy because you are the primary care giver for the newborn you need to be at a prime mental physical state emotional state so that way you have a healthy and you have a happy baby so when you have the time do things that make you look like you and feel like you right and i feel i find that whenever i make up and i transform myself and i do my hair i feel good about myself i feel like i'm thriving so um take care of yourself do things that would uplift you make you happy even if it's spending two hours two hours sounds like it's a lot but trust me it's not two hours is enough time to do a lot of things so yeah that's what i personally do and um, i'm consistent i believe i'm fairly consistent now on youtube because i found a way to make us work and to make this work um yeah so that's something you need to do <laughs> as well and makeup for me is therapeutic right the thought of just transforming from basic to body is uplifting for me the process is enjoyable i love every single process i love drawing my eyebrow i love putting on my lashes it makes me feel good so this is me this is what i enjoy doing and i'm doing it consistently to feel like myself and to be myself gain a good mental emotional physical health right if you like working out which you might want to be doing if you want to get back into shape you might want to do that as well it's something i'm currently working on i want to i just got cleared right and now i want to work on my physical self my tummy my you know um pelvic floor all of that <laughs> i feel like this video is not structured at all but i just felt like coming on here and having a conversation with you guys about life about balancing about mental health about post-pregnancy postpartum and just the realities of it as it is so i um, i feel like i rambled a lot <laughs> if i did i'm sorry <laughs> if i didn't well then great but if you still feel like you need more clarity or clarifications or you have questions let me know down in the comment section i would definitely do another video with regards to that and we will clear it up and be more precise on whatever issue you might have or questions that might arise but i definitely love this kind of videos unstructured unplanned just kind of go with it and speak from the heart but yeah i'm currently trying to find a balance but yeah um that's about it for this video my girl is sleeping like a princess i hope you guys enjoy this video um let me know if you have any com comments or questions down in the comment section and we'll be more than happy to go through it i'll see you guys in the next one till then make sure you stay fabulous and you stay blessed bye guys